Want to improve your stream camera for free? Let's find out how. Hi, I'm Jordan from Johnny's Box. Now let's say that you got your stream camera set up, whether it be a webcam or a mirrorless camera of some kind, or even an action cam. To improve the quality of the video, you probably picked up some lights. You probably have one or two lights like I have in this setup here. I'm sure it made an immense difference, but you might still have some colors that are off. Not quite grayscale, but the colors aren't popping the way that you want. So today we're gonna to show you how to fix that, applying a LUT or lookup table in OBS. Okay, so we went ahead and opened up OBS Studio. Um, I've put this media source in here, it's just a loop of me. You're gonna to go to where your webcam is here. So you're gonna to wanna to right click on that, click filters, then you're gonna to wanna to hit this plus button, go to apply LUT. Go ahead and name it whatever you want. I just leave it at the default. So here you're gonna have a path and an amount. You go ahead and click browse, and it should bring you into the folder that has all of the default LUTs that are included with OBS. You can switch over to black and white, and obviously like this, pretty much shows the intensity of that as well. So, you know, this is the same as not even having it, whereas that is ranked to the max. So we've got our Johnny's Box A5100 LUT here. We're gonna go ahead and open that. And pretty much this is without it. And if we crank it all the way, it looks, I mean, obviously the colors are popping quite a bit more, but you can see as I lean in, like there's a little bit too much contrast. The, the darks are a little bit too dark. And then it, there's a weird contrast. You can kind of see around my beard more than anything. Like my arms don't look bad. The shirt doesn't look bad. Any of the stuff over here doesn't look terrible. But when I lean in right there, it gets like a little too grainy. So we're gonna dial that back and a little goes a long way because we don't want it to look too overdone. So even if we go with like a 40, 43 there, you know, we have pretty much, this is with the LUT on and that's with it off. So it doesn't make a massive difference, but if you look at the color of the shirt, I will say that like, that is more along the lines of the color of that shirt. And even my skin tone, like the picture here looks a little flat and the LUT helps bring out skin tones and even brilliance in the colors in the background. Like the pink over my shoulder gets a little bit deeper and just more saturated, but I can also adjust up. And here's with it maxed out. Like I said, like it just looks a little over processed so we even drop it down to let's say like 34 like that looks better than that that looks a lot more natural so the lot we used in this video is going to be available in our discord links down in the description and feel free to use that test it out adjust the slider how you want mess around with it see if you like the way that that works with your setup i will say that lighting has a lot to do with it if your lighting is different than mine which i would imagine it is it's going to look different than if you had the exact same lighting as me like if you came and sat here compared to using it in your own home or wherever you stream from it's going to look different but there's that slider so you can kind of dial it in a little bit and see if it works for you. In a future video, we're gonna cover how to make your own LUT. That way you can make something that works perfectly for your setup. That wraps it up. If you did like the video, please like, comment, and subscribe down below. Also check us out on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Johnny's Box every Monday through Saturday. We'd love to see you on there and join our Discord server. Got a bunch of awesome people on there, very knowledgeable. We have tech support, stream support. And we just have a lot of fun on there. So feel free to join on there. We'd love to have you. All right. Thanks.